first project features apples and it could be made with all sorts of other vegetables. Take a look at this beautiful, adorable apron, which is made from a t-shirt. Let me show you what you'll need. I'm starting out with some 3D paint pens. I have an old t-shirt or it can be a new uh, cotton t-shirt. I have an apple or I could have celery or other fruits. I have comp compressed sponge, a makeup sponge, and a length of ribbon in whatever color you'd like. Also basic, I have some scotch tape and scissors. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is prepare our t-shirt. I'm going to take my t-shirt and I'm going to cut it off right below the level of the armholes. So I've just taken my scissors and slid it across. Then I'm going to fold over this top piece and I'm going to take my tape. This is an easy way to cut slits. Tape it down all the way across, probably about an inch. Then I'm going to go back with my scissors and cut slits. And I'm going to try to keep them as even as possible and I want them to be wide enough so that they're going to fit the size ribbon that I've chosen. And I have about a one inch ribbon so I'm doing these about a little bit more than a half of an inch so that they're going to be bigger, so about three quarters of an inch. And when I'm done, I'll just remove this tape and I have slits all the way across that to lace my ribbon through. I'm going to take my ribbon starting at one end and go over and under into my slits and this is going to create my waistband. Now, I'm not going to take the time to go all the way across but you can see what I mean and then we'll pull that all the way across. So I've got the basics of my apron. Let's move this out of the way. Now we're ready to start sponging our design on. Now I've chosen an apple but you could choose any vegetable or fruit that you'd like. The most important thing is that we want to get the excess moisture out of the apple. So have an adult help. We've sliced the apple in half then we're going to lay it on a paper towel. Now at home you take the time to maybe lay this overnight and really make sure it's nice and dry. What we're actually doing is stamping with fruits and vegetables. Another uh, uh, vegetable you might choose is celery. Same thing, we want to get that excess, excess moisture out. Then I'm going to take my 3D markers and I'm going to go along the edge of my shape. And I'm just drawing a nice fine line. We could do the whole apple or just a piece of the apple. Maybe one half. And I'm going to do the star pattern on the inside. I'm only going to put like three little stars here though. And I'll show you why in a second. Okay, let's turn our apple down. And let's do a practice one. I've got a practice board here and stamp it down. Lift it straight up. Now I've missed a little bit of the design there. Rather than stamp down again and possibly make a mistake, I'm going to fill that in with my pen. So I'll go back here. And now that I know I've got good placement here, let's do a little bit more. Now I know that that one side seemed to get a little, not quite enough paint. Let's stamp down and we're going to do along the border of the apron. Press that down, lift straight up. We'll go down again. And then we'll discover, see if we need more paint. Let's put a little bit more paint on. And we'll just put three on this one. Now any places that I want to fill in anymore, I can go back in and use my paint markers. But it is a stamped image, so they shouldn't be perfect. The next thing I'm going to do is take my yellow and go in and put a starburst effect in the center and I'm just going to draw that in. You'd wait till each color dries so you don't smear anything. The other thing I might want to do is to put some random dots all over the apron. I'll just put a couple in right now. The other thing that I want to do is to take my compressed sponge. Compressed sponge is this material that starts out flat but when you put it into water, you see there, it pops right up into a sponge. Now I'm going to take my green 
paint and I'm going to take my sponge, sponge it on get it all into all the edges and then use that to make my leaf. Now the pattern for the leaf is on the site you can also add a stem and if you take a look here I've used some other fruits and vegetables we've tried mushrooms and broccoli radishes you can experiment with what might work carrot or even a green pepper so let's take a look at our finished apron this is great for your next baking day